crew. What are you doing here today? See it tracks fest. Yes. How do you feel about Rocket Town? It's awesome. Yeah. Jack, uh, what are you doing here today? Seeing all the awesome bands that are playing today. How do you feel about Rocket Town? Uh, it's the best place to hang out, come see shows. What are you doing here today? I'm just Travis festing it up. I mean, what else? <laughs> How do you feel about Rocket Town? I feel pretty solid about Rocket Town, for sure. What's your name? Shane. What are you doing here today? Can I go crazy? How do you feel about Rocket Town? I love it. Corey Castro. Why are you here today? Because I play in Prove Them Wrong in Alcina and I'm here to support Travis. So how do you feel about Travis Fest uh, and Rocket Town? Travis Fest is absolutely awesome. Man. Awesome. Because awesome. Travis, I've known him for a long time and he was he's a, he's a really, really solid dude and uh, it's nice that people are coming together to help him out. And it's nice of Rocket Town to allow this kind of thing to happen. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Rocket Town, Travis Fest, love this place. So, how do you feel about Travis Fest today? I feel like it's a great success. There's so, a lot of people in there. I wish some more people to watch Demeanor. So tell me a little bit about Travis Fest. Travis Fest is a benefit show to raise money and awareness for Travis Morgan, who is one of the strongest people I've ever met. Um, I know if the shoe was on the other foot and it was me in this situation, he would have done the same thing. I'm Josh. What are you doing here today? Uh, helping out Travis and his family, dude. I'm Richard. What are you doing here today? Supporting Travis and all the benefits for him. Cody. What are you doing here today? Supporting Travis Morgan. Uh, how do you feel about Travis Fest oh, and Rocky Town? I think that they need to keep it up. What are you doing here today? I don't know. It's my first time here. How do you like Rocket Town? Cool. <laughs> There's a lot of cute guys. Chelsea. What are you doing here today? Travis Fest. How do you feel about Travis Fest in Rocky Town? This is my first time here, but I like it. It's fun. How do you put Travis in Rocky Town? Hey. Kenny. Uh, what are you doing here today? Uh, Travis is my friend. How do you feel about Travis Fest in Rocky Town? It's pretty cool. What's your name? I'm Autumn. So, uh, what are you doing here today, Autumn? Uh, supporting Travis. How do you feel about Travis Fest here in Rocky Town? Awesome. Rocket Town. Uh, since 2008. So, uh, why are you here tonight? To celebrate Travis Fest. So, how do you feel about Rocket Town Travis Fest? I um, feel good about it. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> with no reply hold on to tight hang on every word sing along good night for fed any fight refuse I will bring you back You did merch. If you're here, you are that hand for me, and I thank you. There are a few other people I would like to thank. Michael Chang for the video. You did an amazing job. This is that Mr. Donald Breedwell, who paid for those tank tops that you guys bought. 
Wes for all the help he's given me. It's hard for me to accept help, but he's helped me more than just about anybody. I want to thank the Morgans for allowing us to do this, not me, us. Accepting help is never easy. They've accepted help from all of us, and it means a lot to me personally. Once again, I want to thank Rocket Town Reagan. I want to thank Ryan Rado for being a huge positive influence on me. But when we do talk, he definitely reminds me that not everything sucks. I want to thank my best friend, Brett. Me, him, and Travis, we are three musketeers, man. He's helped me with this in the past. Actually, he pretty much put the first one. You guys might not know that, but give him the credit he deserves. <laughs> Travis is the best friend of mine. I have two, two best friends. A lot of people say that you find that one best friend and you stick with them forever. I got lucky and I got two. The video you're about to watch, it might be hard for some of you because very easily the shoe could be on the other foot and it could be you in that position. And that's the one thing I try to remember every day. I try not to take every day for granted Sometimes I do, sometimes I go see Travis and it puts me in check. I want to encourage all of you to go see Travis, even if you didn't know him. He is in, I believe it's NHC in Murfreesboro right now. If you can't drive all the way to Murfreesboro, you can meet me in my house and I will take you. Travis showed us when he was at Centennial that he needs us. He thrives off of us, all of us, from you being here to you going to see him. Every little bit counts more than you'll ever realize. And I want you to know that. The people that have come to see Travis that never knew him, now you're a part of his life forever. For the... Sorry to interrupt, but I kinda, this sparked something, huh? There's a band called Farewell Fighter, and uh... Yeah. <laughs> The lead singer, I mean, yeah. He's not a part of this culture, but he was in a rough spot, and uh, he's dedicated his time for him, day after day, making time for his schedule, making a part of this family his, and he's in the pop band. Doesn't make sense on paper, but physically it's truly amazing. So he's out in California right now, so give it up for him. For being amazing. So when you watch this, think about your friends being in this position. And just think about everything. This is by Michael Chang. And this is a documentary on Travis Morgan. 